NRL vids, zero nine zero. Back here with another video today, and in today's video, this is my Saint George Illawarra Dragons 2021 season preview. So obviously now the Dragons have had a couple of disappointing years. You know, uh, the last good year Dragons really had was 2018, uh, and then since then it's been a bit, bit of a downfall. Been a lot of changes happening for that club for a couple of years now, and um, you know, a lot's happened, and. Um, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens in 2021, 2021 for the Dragons. If they'll improve or will they just go backwards like they did, you know, a couple of, for the past years now. So, uh, it's it's definitely a different year for the Dragons because they've made a, a lot of different changes, like a different coach. You know, they've lost some experience and talented players. Have gained some, uh, yeah, they've gained some signings, but like not top tier signings or anything. Uh, and they also have got. You know, some great young kids coming up in their home. Maybe they could be the next generation of great Dragon Dragons talent coming up. So there's some. It's gonna be an interesting year for the Dragons in 2021, I reckon. So we'll see how they go. But let's get into the preview, shall we? So this is my team for the Dragons. Personally, if I was in charge, this would be my team, in my opinion. So fullback Matt Duffy. The wingers are Cody Ramsey and Makali Ravalawa. The centers are Jack Burton, Zach Lomax. The halves are Jane Sullivan and Ben Hunt. Uh, the props are uh, Josh Kerr and Paul Vaughan. The hook is Karen McInnes as well as him being the captain. Uh, the back row is Jackson Ford and Tarek Sims and Locke Trent Merrin. And off the bench, it's Tyrell Fui Mayono, uh, 15 Pawasa Farmacilli, 16 Blake Glory, and 17 Daniel Alvaro. And the coach himself, Anthony Griffin. Now, that's not a bad team overall. I think Dragons look better with Jack Bird in the centres personally, but he could play 5 8 if you never know. Could go, go all right there. And then you've got. Um, Jack Jackson Ford possibly re replacing Tyson Frizzell in the back row, and I think that's what's going to happen. But and I think Frizzell, and I think Jackson Ford's a great young player with a lot of, a lot of promise, and uh, got Trent Merrin staying at lock. And the reason why Trent Merrin staying at lock is because he's got experience. He's a really experienced player. Knows he's been at the Dragons for a while. He's um a good leader, and I think he deserves to get that crack in the number thirteen spot. And plus, Dragons don't have much. De the Dragons don't have much decent locks, so I think. Um, Trent Merrin fits in really well in that category. Um, yeah, so not a bad team overall, but just depends on a couple of things like, you know, consistency and uh, their forwards and their step up. So, yeah, that's it right there, my team. Uh, the depth, so this is, my, this is the Dragons' depth heading to 2021. Uh, Adam Clune, Brian Army, Corey Norman decided to leave him out because I think Jane Sullivan has more promise and Corey Norman's nothing special at all, in my opinion. Uh, John Pereira, Matt, Matthew and Max Fiaghi, both twins. Uh, Sean Sony, uh, Asal, uh, Tyrell Sloan, Billy Britton, Eddie Blacker, Hayden Lomax, and Kate Ellis. So that's the Dragons' depth right there for 2021, in my opinion. Look, in, in the backs, they, they don't look too bad in the backs. I mean, they've got some all right depth for the centers, wingers, and all that. But their forward pack depth is a bit of a concern for mine because they don't have much back rowers or, or locks or front rowers. Um... Even you could say hooker depth. I um, mean, they only got Billy Brynn as hooker, hooker depth, so that's about it. But look, overall, not not terrible for the depth for the Dragons, but it isn't it isn't great or anything. So, yeah. Um, now flip, flipping over the page, this is the Dragons' strengths in my opinion for twenty twenty one, and I've got leadership as a strength for the Dragons in twenty twenty one. So I think the, the leadership of the Dragons is a big factor playing for them in twenty twenty one. The reason why is because I think Dragons have a lot of good leaders around the club. They've got Matt Dufty, he's been there for a while. I think he's considered a leader now. They've got Zach Lomax, who's a very, who's maybe young, but he's a very mature young kid, Zach Lomax, and he's um, a yeah, really, really talented player. I know everyone would like to be learning off him. They've got Tarek Sims and Paul Vaughan. Both guys have been playing for like a, a, a ages now in the game, and, um, you know, both. Both very uh, quality players and both know what it takes to how to, how to go in big games and all that. So both good leaders there. And they've also got, you know, that yeah, they've also got Trent Merrin who knows the club inside out. He's a very experienced player and he may not be the best player he was a couple of years ago, but since then he's um yeah he's good. Either way, his leadership hasn't changed since then, and he's still a very decent player who can uh, defend well through the middle. And they got Karen McInnes, uh, the captain himself. McInnes is always a guy who gives his. Gives his all each game. You know what you'll get from McInnes, an absolute warrior. So I think leadership is a very positive thing for the Dragons in 2021. I think that with all the young kids Dragons have at the moment, like Cody Ramsey, Jaden Sullivan, Jackson Ford, and the Fiagi brothers, uh, I think the leadership the Dragons already have, there'll be a good influence on the younger kids coming up. So that's what I think right there. Uh, the weaknesses of the Dragons in 2021, so this is the weaknesses, I, I believe. It's the, it's the halves and it's the forward, forward pack depth. So in the halves... 
Uh, they've got, yeah, the halves, halves depth, I think, is Adam Clune, uh, Billy Bridden, Corey Norman, Ben Hunt, and James Sullivan. Uh, look, they need recognised halves. They need, they need to stay on one halves pairing because Dragons are always changing halves. They'll always have Ben Hunt at hooker and they have Corey Norman probably at fullback, not always at 5'8". They've got Adam Clune and Jade Sullivan stepping in there, playing occasionally there. So they need, they need to kind of stay in um, consistent halves and, you know, stay on that sort of uh, path. I mean, Jack Burke could play number six, you never know. He could play there instead of centre, but I, I believe he's a better centre personally. Um, but look, I think Ben Hunt should be the halfback. Obviously, Ben Hunt's a quality player, but just needs to find the consistency and believe in himself, Ben Hunt, because he can be a good player, but just then he's he's struggling with a lot of inconsistency. He needs a, a, a good halves partner next to him, I, I believe. He needs to, I think Ben Hunt, as the halfback, he needs to step up and kind of take the team around, and I think he needs a, num a good number six to assist him. And I think Jane Sullivan, he may be only young, but... Bud Sullivan is a good young kid. I think that he's got some highly, highly um, rated raps on him. So I think Sullivan will, would be good for Ben Hunt, those two together. Uh, Corey Norman, he's just so inconsistent. He's um, time the NRL's done it, I reckon. He's just become an absolute joke, joke and a foul now, Corey Norman. So I think he doesn't have a spot in that team at all. Uh, the best signing for 2021 for the Dragons. Now, the best signing for mine is Jack Bird. A fit and firing Jack Bird, just remember quickly, a fit and firing Jack Bird is very scary because Jack Bird, when he was fit at the Sharks in 2016, he was a premiership winning centre. He had a great year. He was a talented player. You know, he had, he had a great 2016, you know, being a premiership winning player. He's such a skillful player, low skill, and he's just such a, yeah, a very dangerous player, but he just needs to um, keep the injuries below bar. And he's also won the 2015 Rookie of the Year award for yeah back in 2015. He's a very uh very um what's it called? Uh, yeah, he can play multiple positions. He can um he's, yeah he can play back row lock, but I don't like him that back row lock. I think he's nothing but more than a back. But uh you know he's he, I guess he can fill in there if you really want him to. Uh he's a good five eight. I think when he used to play in rookie systems, he was really good there. He played the centers, he played at fullback, he played he grew up playing fullback actually for the Drags in the Holden Cup 2014 days and all that. So he could play there again if you really want him to. So Jack Bird, a fin fine Jack Bird would be uh such a class sign by the Dragons. So hopefully Anthony Griffin can get the best out of Jack Bird heading to this year. And I, and I believe he will. So good luck to Jack Bird uh, in 2021. The worst loss now. This is wasn't easy. This is pretty easy to kind of pick out, and that's Tyson Frizzell. That's their worst loss heading to twenty twenty one. Big Frizzell going to Newcastle. They're going to miss Frizzell because they obviously need because they they haven't really found a, a a great replacement for a Tyson Frizzell except for Jackson Ford, who's going to probably step in and replace him. But they haven't really got got anyone else to really replace replace a player like Tyson Frizzell because obviously Frizzell's all qualities, great leader, uh, such a warrior like McGuinness. But uh, losing him is very, very big for the Dragons. That's not going to be good. I mean, you Naked's a big loss as well, but I think Frizzell is a bit, bit more of a loss because obviously Frizzell's replaceable. They've they got a lot of depth in the backs, and I think forwards, and in, in the forwards, they don't have much depth. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be tough replacing someone like Frizzell, but we'll see how they go replacing him. Uh, yeah, the, the player that needs to step up for the Dragons in 2021, and that is Ben Hunt. Ben Hunt needs to step up for the Dragons in 2021. It's a big year for him. Obviously, Ben Hunt's struggled with a lot of inconsistency. He has struggled to um, kind of, I guess, kind of um, make himself the, the confirmed halfback. Because I think last year, Paul McGregor and Dean Young kept on swapping him between hooker, half, and off the bench. They, off the bench, they couldn't get a read on Ben Hunt. So hopefully, Griffin can get the best out of Ben Hunt at number seven. I mean, I mean, every Griffin's worked with Ben Hunt before, and I think Griffin's really liked working with Ben Hunt when he was younger at the Broncos. So. Now, and Griffin has confirmed Ben Hunt will be the number seven, so hopefully Griffin can get the best out of Ben Hunt like we used to see back in the days. So good luck to Ben Hunt at halfback. Hopefully he can find his feet again, being a, a more of a consistent footballer for once again. But needs the right halves partner, I believe. I think Jack Bird. I think sorry. I need. I mean, what I meant to say is Ben Hunt needs the right halves partner. I think Jack Bird could be a good number six. He's got a lot of skill, and I think he could really assist. Uh, ben Hunt the halves, but I think James Sullivan's a great young kid, a lot of a lot of energy and excitement. So I think him and Ben Hunt could be a really good workout there. My latter prediction for the Dragons in twenty twenty one is thirteenth. I think Dragons won't get the wooden spoon like many people are saying. I think I think putting Dragons a wooden spoon is ridiculous. I think they've got a, be a much better team than a wooden spoon contending side. But I can't see much improvement for the Dragons. Unfortunately, I like Dragons as a team, but I can't see it really happening. The improvement. So I got Dragons thirteenth this year. They could prove me wrong because they've got a good coach in Griffin and then they've got some decent players still around the uh, paddock, but just 
right now, I think the 13th, a 13th place team just can't see much going on for them in 2021. But guys, that's my Dragons 2021 season preview. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. I might do another preview later on, but I've got to decide on the team. But uh, until then, see you the next, see you soon, I think.